guys, guess what this is? It's my second cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, I love you, caffeine. I love caffeine. Mm. I haven't sat down and chatted with you guys in a while, and I thought that there's just been a lot of things going on in my life lately that I could put that all into a video and just get really, really caffeinated because today's my day off after I had a three-day weekend off um, to go to Bumbershoot, which is actually where we're going to start. So I photographed Bumbershoot for the first time in three years this weekend. Saturday can be summed up by twerking, crying at the Lonely Forest, and uh, Wu-Tang Clan? So much twerking during Big Frida. That happened. And that happened too. That was kind of weird. But I had never seen Big Frida before, so that was kind of cool. Uh, finally got that in my portfolio, in my repertoire. And then uh, the Lonely Forest played their very last set ever. And I had to put my sunglasses on to hide... Hide the emotions! And I wasn't the only one in the general vicinity. <laughs> really, really sad. I made a whole video about how much the Lonely Forest means to me in general. Basically, they were the first band I ever shot five years ago, and they played their last show, and... Feelings! It was beautiful, and I got this shot, and I really, really like it. Links to all my photos will be below, too, because I got them done in, like, record time. Okay, I got them done on Tuesday, and the festival ended on Monday. I'm like, um, I never finished that fast. I got to see my boys again. We Are Scientists came back, and it was beautiful and wonderful, and I got to see it with my friend Andrea. This is Andrea. Andrea's pretty cool. And, uh, after their show, I, like, waited around backstage, um, with my friend Ailish. This is Ailish. And, um, Keith walks out from backstage. He walks out from the bar, and I look at him, and I was like, Sup, nerd? And he's like, just doing nerdy stuff. And then came in for a hug. And it was wonderful. I love them so much. I kept my bangs, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. But yeah, so we are assigned to play on Sunday. Um, Schoolyard Heroes played on Sunday, and holy shit. Oh my god, those guys were so much fun to photograph. The Head and the Heart had, like, the most amazing... Thing at the end of their set. Um, my friend Greg, he runs Seattle Music Insider and he also partners with the Melodic Caring Project and they had this like live stream to like children in the hospital and out to everyone else um, of one of the Head and Heart songs and it was... <sighs> Monday! Um, Campfire OK? Pickwick? I'm like, who else played? I just, my brain is just away at this point. Monday, I, I shot Neon Trees, and I am not a fan of their music much at all, just because it's like pop music and stuff, but they were like the most fun to photograph ever, and I was so in love with their lighting, just in general, because not only did they have wonderful backlighting, usually when you have great backlighting, their faces is all dark and shit. Tyler Glenn was so well lit, and he was just posing the whole time and just meant to be photographed. And so I posted on Twitter, I'm like, whoever did the lighting for the Neon Trees set at Bumbershoe last night deserves a damn foot massage. And then Neon Trees saw it, and then they like, at replied the guy who's their lighting designer. So he saw it, and then he posted a screenshot on Instagram, and then this happened. <laughs> so that was weird. As much as I love photographing the bands I get to photograph at festivals year in, year out, none of it would be as fulfilling if it weren't for like the people that I get to like work with and my colleagues and my friends, the other photographers, the other press people, and being in the press room with those guys is just such a joyous place and I love them so much and I feel so honored that I'm like in their presence, in their company, it just, I'm able to do this. I know none of you watch this, maybe like two, but hearts forever, as I'm holding my copy. So that was Bumbershoot. Pictures to the thing below. I'll show you what I bought at Bumbershoot. So I thought I was going to be buying a bunch of band tees. 
um, and like records, but I didn't make it to the merch table much at all. So I bought a poster from Flatstock instead. In case you didn't know, Flatstock is uh, this big uh, concert poster exhibition they have every single year. I have one poster from it. Um, a spoon poster, it's over there. It's been in, in pictures before, you've been able to see it. Um, spoon at the Moore Theater, I was at that show. I always like having posters from shows that I was actually like present at. This one I bought, if you can see that. Uh, hopefully it's not like shining on it. It's Local Natives, um, Local Natives at the Neptune Theater. Uh, this was last year last April, and um, I was at that show. The guy, the artist, was really, really nice too. There was one artist, um, her name was Frida Clements. I think she actually did my spoon poster, but she has beautiful artwork. I'll post a link to her site below because I wanted to buy all of her posters. <laughs> but I'm like, money! What is your name, sir? Mike King. Oh, Crash America. I'll post a link to this guy too because he was really nice and uh, his work was gorgeous. I didn't even buy anything from like the vendors. Cause I'm cheap. Mmm, coffee. So delicious. Other things that I bought recently. I used this quad in my last tutorial and I got a lot of positive comments but I had never actually purchased any of like the single, wait no. I own Patina from MAC, but um, I'd been wanting to have like a pink toned brown without actually purchasing the whole Naked palette because I didn't want like a shit ton of like shimmery pinks because I'm a grown up. So I went over to MAC and uh, I found Ho, H-A-U-X. Um, you won't be able to see that very well. So that's that color. It's very similar to like Nooner, I believe that's in the Naked 3 palette. I think. Swiss chocolate, which I have on my eyes today, basically the color of like hot chocolate powder, um, which is nice. The third one is texture, which is like a pumpkin tone brown, neutrally color. I absolutely am in love with it. It's like super warm, perfect for fall. I might do like an updated version of my like pumpkin spice latte look that I did with Rachel like three years ago. And then the last one, cause I wanted to round it out with like a pink. I've been digging like the warm, like pinky orangey tone neutral eyes. I don't know. It's like, it gives the illusion of just having like dark eyes naturally. I don't know. And it looks like you're a little bit stoned. That could be a thing. Girly is this last one, this pink one, which is, I think it's a satin finish. I don't really know. That's the last one. It looks really, really pretty on top of Ho, which is what I did in that tutorial, but um, I, I love these colors. Good job, Mac. Um, coffee. That was weird. I'm sorry. Ah, la, la. So there's a thing I've been teasing about for quite a while um, that I haven't actually like told you guys fully what it is. I've told people individually, but I've been wanting to make a film, like a movie, like a short film or whatever length film documentary for about a year and a half. And I have never felt like right about asking any bands about going on tour with them. I felt like, okay, like I could ask them, you know, like I was thinking about asking a couple different bands, but then I thought I, it, it would still be at that awkward phase. Like I wasn't at that point. I finally, <laughs> finally got up the guts to ask those guys, to ask Ravenna Woods if they would have me on tour with them at a future date. I don't know when it's gonna be, probably not until after Christmas. I haven't really talked to them that much about it, but they're all on board for it. And so I am gonna be making a fucking tour documentary. That'll be a thing. I'm pretty excited about it. I was really, really happy that they were all on board. Like I talked to Brantley and he's like, it'll be really weird. I'm like, I know. He's like, we're just gonna make fart jokes the whole time. I was like, okay. Let me know if you guys use any sort of like shoulder mounts or like external audio things. I have some ideas, but um, if you know of anything that is like 
really decently priced and like good quality, let me know. Probably at one point I will be doing some sort of like funding thing. Maybe I'll start a Patreon, I don't know. Cause I've seen a bunch of people do a Patreon before and I haven't really felt the need to do it yet, but since this is like actually like a project project thing, um, I will need extra equipment and extra funding to do that. And I would love to be able to like pay the guys for gas um, and like to like, cause I don't want to ask them to pay for me at all. I know some of you had said that you would be into it. I just wanted to throw the idea out at you now that I actually have like a project to do with it. Also an update about the gallery at the Showbox. We still don't have an official date for it yet because the Showbox has been pushing it back. They've been waiting to find like a perfect bill for like an opening, like bands to go on a bill. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that. It We don't have info yet. Coffee! Oh uh, yeah. So the last order of business, um, I saw a thing on the internet recently and in the grocery stores and when I saw the cappuccino chips on the shelves I was like what the fuck is that? That's not okay and, uh, and it wasn't even a cappuccino it was a latte but I digress. I went to the grocery store today to buy like bread and ice cream and peanut butter but <laughs> whatever. I couldn't find the ones that I actually wanted to taste that sounded like like wonderful. I only found the ones that I was like I'm really confused and intrigued about but I didn't actually think we're gonna taste good. Literally I was at Albertsons and they were nowhere to be found and then I went to Target and they only had these flavors. <laughs> No! I want to have the bacon mac and cheese one! Or the wasabi ginger! Cause those sound delicious! <laughs> this sounds horrifying! I had to open it before recording this video to smell it because I was just like, what is this going to smell like? And like, I'm a coffee person. I like my coffee. If these chips say they're supposed to taste like coffee, I wanted to uh, debunk that. They smell surprisingly good. They smell like French toast. Okay. I mean, I put cinnamon on my lefsa, which is like a potato flatbread, so maybe this will taste like lefsa. Let's do this. I'm having another one. Yeah, it totally tastes like a fried dough churro. Thing. I don't hate it. <clears throat> I love how it says, does not contain caffeine. Damn it, Lays, that's what I wanted. I wanted caffeine in these chips. Okay, I don't hate it. Ooh, okay. So this one's the mango salsa and it's wavy Lays. It smells like pineapple. So that one looks like that. Just got like seasonings and shit on it. Definitely smell the mango. That's weird. I don't hate it, but it tastes like spicy perfume. Like it's way more mango than it is salsa. These ones are also much more substantial like in weight because they're wavy, you know? So they have like grooves and shit. I don't hate it. Cool. Yay, I don't have to throw these chips away. Do you know what these would be really good for? When you're super high. Just saying. I'll eat those. <laughs> you have to be really drunk or really baked to think Coffee and potatoes. Natural merriment. You didn't fail miserably, Lays. Thank you. <sighs> well, I'm done with my 20 ounce. My brain, not doing things. I don't know. For today's song of the day, uh, in honor of the Lonely Forest last set at Bumbershoot, um, it is the stars like dust uh, from their last album adding up the wasted hours and I was driving home from work last night I got to the last song I was like 15 minutes from home and I got like halfway through the song and I just started crying and I realized that the lyrics in that song is so poignant for like where it is at their career like it's the last song on their last album the song ends with I just wanted to say oh what a beautiful way to waste our time and I'm like, that is like the most apt, ironic, poignant lyric ever. I just kept playing it and singing it 
And at the point when I got home, I was like, I want to have that lyric fucking tattooed on my body. It's just a beautiful phrase and like a lyric and they have such a big part in my life just because they were the first show I ever shot and like they got me into so many other local bands and it was just like all the dominoes and they were like the first domino. That song, The Stars Like Dust from the Lonely Forest is your song of the day and uh, go listen to it and cry. I'm gonna go so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!